Hello all, in this video we are going to solve problem number 9.13 Standard 12 Physics NCRT textbook Ray Optics chapter. So the problem says that this is a telescope whose objective lens which is facing towards the object has the focal length this and the eyepiece has focal length this. They are asking us to find the magnifying power and the separation between both the lenses. Now there are two cases in this one. But by default, we are supposed to follow the textbook and the textbook diagram states something like this. Now, this point is the focus of the objective lens. So when the rays are coming from infinity like this, because we are seeing the heavenly objects and the rays coming from the heavenly objects, they are parallel to the principal they are parallel to themselves and the image is formed at focal plane we know that right and let us assume a second ray since the final image is formed over here so the rays must be parallel something like this like this one so the final image is formed on the focal plane right now exactly at this point the focus of the eyepiece is also located because the final image is formed at infinity here the eye sees the final image at infinity which means this image is going to behave as the object for this lens and since this object is placed at the focus of the eyepiece the final image will be formed at infinity so we can say that there are rays which are going to come like this like this one I should say yeah like this and then the focus of the eyepiece is here and these rays are parallel and finally when the eye is here or even here because the eye is situated near to the eyepiece we find the final image to be at infinity now in this case the distance between both the lenses will be this is fo and from here again to this point this distance is fe so the distance between both the lenses distance between both lenses is equal to fo plus fe now that is given as 144 plus 6 that is 120 centimeters now the magnifying power is not to be confused with magnification. Magnifying power means these incoming rays, they make certain angle alpha with the lens of the objective of our telescope. And then the final image makes some angle, let's call beta, with the eyepiece. Or the eye so the ratio between these two angles is known as magnifying power and magnifying power for this case is given by fo upon fe for this case i am saying it might also be possible that this image is slightly shifted towards the eyepiece and this object which is now an object actually it was an image now it is going to be an object for the eyepiece since it is between f and o then the final image would be somewhere over here in that particular case i mean the final image is located at capital d distance 25 centimeter from the lens not at infinity in that case the magnification is given by f o upon f e 1 plus d upon f e but we are not supposed to follow this particular case because we are supposed to consider the object at infinity and the final image also at infinity so as per the textbook right so which means i am going to substitute the value so the objective focal length is 144 centimeter divided by 6 centimeters so the magnifying power is 